the battle of the headshot is real. You might have a headshot that you absolutely love that might have been taken a few years ago, and you're feeling like, is it time for a refresh? Should I invest in an entirely new photo shoot? But I love the photo that I currently have. If that sounds like the dialogue that's going on in your brain, you are not alone. And today I'm going to show you ways that you can use Canva to refresh your headshot so you don't have to invest in an entirely new photo shoot, unless you want to. It's totally cool too. Okay, let's dive on in. Okay, so let's say this is your headshot. You want to give it a little refresh. Here is refresh way number one. We are going to head to edit and then magic grab. And we're going to select the click function and click on ourselves, grab the image. And what this is going to do is it's going to separate the subject from the background. So now I can move her around independent from the background. So what this does, it allows us to now put things behind. So if you want something different to show your audience or in your marketing, something that will give it a little pizzazz, you can write out your name in your brand font give it a little angle depending on where you're situated in your photo depending on you know how this looks it'll be different for everyone but in this particular photo i see a little empty area right here so i'm going to use it and then all we're going to do is position it behind her so we're going to head to position layers and then grab that text and put it behind her now, nah. if you don't like how it looks, you can just grab the text box and adjust it so that the text is easy to read. And if you find the text is a little bit difficult to read, then all you're going to do is highlight the background by clicking on it, head to edit, adjust, and then reduce the brightness ever so slightly. And you'll see that it just makes that text pop, but it also makes you pop as well. So it's a really good trick. So now you have a little extra pizzazz to share with on your feature sheets or any type of marketing or even on your social media. It gives it a little bit of breath of new life. Now, if you want something a little bit more exaggerated, let's talk about spruce number two. Let's delete that name, delete the background, and now we have this blank canvas and you can go ahead and add your brightest, boldest uh, brand color right here. So let's say it was something like this. And that just gives it such a nice pop. And I'm going to add her name to this side of it as well because she's leaning and we got to compensate for that. She can't be leaning into thin air. So I am just going to create almost like a wall with her name and pop it over her shoulder here and then place it behind her. And there you have it. That is spruce number two. This is a really good one if you want to add a pop of your brand color to your Instagram photo. So if you want your profile photo to add a little bit of excitement, then you can add your brand color with your headshot cut out. And it's really good for brand recognition. Now, the third thing, the third spruce is to change the background completely. So you love how you look, but maybe you're completely bored of this background. So let's remove the background. And now with the background removed, we're going to go and hunt for a new background. So I'm going to head to photos and type in living room. And then you can find any photo that you like where it looks good. And I'm going to pop her into place. Maybe flip her so that she is leaning against the edge of the photo. And if you feel like it looks wonky or it looks superimposed, then my trick is to select the background, head to edit, scroll down to the effects section under blur, select whole image, and then the intensity is up to you. You can play around with it. It all depends on the photo, your headshot, how they're interacting together. Get a feel for it. And then you can just blur out the entire background or just make it slightly blurred. It's up to you. But I honestly think that it looks great just like this. And now we've refreshed her headshot 
completely. And spruce number four, this is a bonus spruce. It's one of my favorite hacks, but it's a bonus because Canva's not quite there yet when it comes to AI photo manipulation. Let's say that you were out, you were traveling, and your friend took this amazing photo of you. The problem is, is that you're wearing a sweater. It doesn't look all that professional, but dang it, it's like one of the best photos that you've ever had taken in your life. What do you do? Well, you can use Canva to try to manipulate it. So what we're going to do, let me set this as a background so I have more surface area. Let's head to edit and then we're going to select under Magic Studio. We're going to select Magic Edit. And then we're going to select our brush size and you can change the brush size as you're brushing out the area that you want to remove. But for me, I just want her sweater to be completely highlighted because I want this sweater to turn into a business jacket. Okay, so once you've highlighted everything that you want Canva to change, we're going to describe it in this little box here. We can say something like professional business jacket and generate, and let's see what happens. I have not tried this yet, so it might just turn out completely wonky. Let's see. That's not bad at all. So I'm gonna keep this actually, because I actually like this one a lot. The only thing I would do with this, because she's kind of in an awkward position, is I would head to edit, magic grab, grab her so that we separate the subject from the background. And then I'm going to use this rotate tool to just make her a little bit like so she's not leaning. And then we'll move her down a bit. And voila. I think that looks pretty darn good for the beginning stages of AI. And that is it, my friends. That is how you can spruce up your headshot in three, four different ways. If you loved this video, please comment below and let me know. Let me know which one you're going to try. Let me know if you have any questions. I would love to hear from you. Happy designing, my friends.